All right, welcome to the Universal Man Vanguard Q&A. So if you're watching this on YouTube and you would like to be able to submit your questions and have them answered, well then just click the link below to check out the Universal Man Vanguard, my online community for helping guys live on the front lines of life and unleash their apex potential. Uh, but for those of you who are watching the full version, um, let's get into it here. Wessel says, I often had a, have a hard time dealing with picking myself up emotionally after I go through some small failures, losses during the day. Any advice to pick myself up during these moments or any thoughts on what kinds or well, what causes these kinds of problems? Um, yeah, you're being a dick, basically. You're just being a dick to yourself. <laughs> it's like you if you have small failures and losses and you get really down on yourself, then it's because you're just being an ass. Just be kinder to yourself. Tell yourself, hey, man, it's okay. <laughs> Just because like something didn't go perfectly or you didn't do some, do something perfectly doesn't mean you're not good enough. It doesn't mean that you're a failure. It doesn't mean that like nothing is ever going to improve. Be just be kinder and more encouraging to yourself. Sometimes that's like all you need to do. Like so many people are just such huge jackasses to themselves in their own heads and they just cripple under the weight of their own negativity. What if you were just friendly to yourself? What if you were just encouraging to yourself? I think that's what you got to try and do. And like, um, you know, like practice that. If you don't know what to say to yourself, then post it in the Vanguard. Be like, hey, I'm looking for help coming up with something positive to say to myself in this specific scenario. And I can guarantee you the guys in here can help you with that. So Wes will ask another question. He says, I have quite a high standard for myself, and I think this helps me achieve more at some moments, but this also has some downsides to it. How do I integrate this trait properly and still reap the rewards while avoiding the downsides? <laughs> okay, well, yeah, so um, that's the issue, right? That's why you get down on yourself is because you have these high standards. Um, so the key is the dignity stuff, right? Like you got to acknowledge that just because you perform really well doesn't make you any better, doesn't make you any better. Does it make you better than anyone else? Like maybe specifically at one thing, you're better, but that doesn't make you better. That doesn't matter. You know, I, was, I just watched a a really kind of a fun anime. It's by the guy who created um, One Punch Man, and it's called Mob Psycho. And what's cool about it is this guy, this kid's like super insanely powerful, but like he's like really like humble, and he just tries not to use all his psychic powers uh, because he he like his big thing is like. It, Psychic powers don't make you better than anyone else. And like all the other like evil psychic guys out there, he kind of just like owns them. He's like, dude, you're not cool. Like you're actually a loser and you have no friends because you rely on your psychic powers so much. And like that's kind of how it is with everything. Like, you know, you're not better because you make more money. You're not better because you, uh, you know, are prettier than someone else or whatever. Like it's, you, you got to just tap more into your dignity. And if you want like the full kind of, intense class on how to deal with that, then check out my Enter the Omni Game series because there's a very good chance that you're addicted to using vacuous mentality, like this this status-driven mentality to get your motivation. It's like, oh, you better go do this thing or else you suck. You got to learn a new form of motivation if you want to actually break free from your own self-destructive, you know, crap that you're giving yourself here. Like, you know, if you want to learn how to be able to get stuff done and not be a dick to yourself then there's got to be a shift. You got to like learn how to like be like, all right, I'm going to do good things because I'm already good. I want to reflect my goodness and reflect my dignity in how I show up in the world. And if you do that, well, then you can still generate massive amounts of motivation, but then you can drop all the, catab ca the catabolic self-talk. You can drop all this negativity toward yourself and getting down on yourself because you realize that your worth and dignity is invincible. Nothing is going to hurt it. And all you got to do then is you play the game of figuring out, all right, how can I let all this goodness shine as brightly as possible in my actions, in the things that I do, et cetera, right? So that's what I would do.